Good evening and welcome to the 10th Annual Animal Law Lecture Series. My name is Emmanuel Dufray and I'm the Legal Counsel of Voiceless. So since 2007, the lecture series has introduced Australian audiences to global leaders and innovators in animal law. In this federal election year, we're looking at it from a different angle. Namely, we're looking at the politics of animal protection and how playing politics can work to improve the lives of the animals with which we share this planet. Now, as is often the case when discussing issues of politics, of course, there are going to be strong and diverse opinions. Uh, so please just note that the, the, the messages which are put forward and the opinions put forward by our speakers are not necessarily that of voiceless. And I also invite uh, all of you to express your opinion on Twitter or Facebook by using the voiceless lecture hashtag. We will also be having a brief Q&A after the lecture, so please hold your questions until then. Whether it be the cruelty inherent in live animal exports, the inhumane killing of millions of kangaroos and their dependent young as part of the commercial kangaroo trade, uh, or the hundreds of millions of animals that are suffering in factory farms, it is clear that the law is failing animals in a number of material respects. Australia is clearly lagging behind our international counterparts when it comes to animal protection. And it's, no, uh, it's, it's clear why when we have a look at the political frameworks which govern animal protection in this country. There is no federal government leadership when it comes to animal protection. The government departments responsible for governing animal protection operate with an inherent conflict of interest. And because of that conflict of interest, we see a reluctance on the part of our departments to monitor and enforce the meagre laws that we do have. The outcome is an animal protection legal framework which is widely inconsistent with community expectations and which is failing animals. Now this is why in this federal election year, Voiceless is calling for animal protection to be made a, to be put on the national agenda and to be made a federal election issue. Now many of you will have your program and if you have a look on the back, you will notice that Voiceless has contacted all of the major political parties and sought their position on the key federal election animal protection issues. Namely, the introduction of an independent, a truly independent uh, office of animal welfare, the banning on live animal exports, and also the banning of the commercial kangaroo trade. Where the parties did not respond, we ascertained their positions based on previous public statements. Now, Voiceless is clearly not affiliated with any one political party, and we are certainly not advocating for you to vote for one party over another. But we would like you to use the information as a guide, and in particular for those individuals who feel strongly about this, these issues and want their vote to count for animals. I also urge all of you to view our analysis on our website at www.voiceless.org.au forward slash election 2016. There you'll see a further analysis of the three issues that we discussed. Uh, and also you can contact the major political leaders and let them know that you care about animal protection and you vote. Now, on to our distinguished keynote speaker. As public awareness of the uh, legalised abuse of animals continues to grow, so have the number of our politicians who have put forward progressive policies and progressive animal protection laws to better protect the animals uh, that, in, that are used in animal use industries. Now, at both a domestic and international level, we have also seen the growth of a fierce political movement to represent the interests of animals in Parliament, placing animal protection directly in the political and public spotlight. To discuss these issues, I would like to introduce a prominent voice and pioneer of this political movement. Mariana Timmer is Dutch politician, lawyer, animal rights advocate and publicist. She is a member of Parliament for and political leader of the Party for the Animals in the Netherlands, a, a party which Mariana co-founded in 2002. In 2006, the Dutch Party for the Animals became the world's first elected political party with a global agenda focused on animal rights, nature and the environment. Today, the Party for the Animals has 50 
elected representatives in the Netherlands at various levels of government, inspiring a global movement that has seen the formation of similar political parties across the globe, including here in Australia. In what will undoubtedly be an inspiring talk, please join me in welcoming to the stage Mariana.